Hello everyone, uh, after 10 minutes of this video, you should be able to authenticate using uh, your Azure AD account, your Microsoft personal account, and uh, log in with your any social media account like Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn, or any other. Okay, let's quickly start. So this is the application which we will be building. So uh, this is the page. Uh, this application is running on localhost 3000 port, and here I can see the sign in button. And if I click on sign in, it basically a little pop up comes up and ask me uh, to enter my credentials. So after sign in, uh, uh, it just shows the welcome message. If let me quickly show. Yep, so if I do sign in, this also uh, has silent auth implemented. I was already logged in into this browser. So I see quickly that welcome message, welcome Sheetal Chapra. And this application also uh, calls a graph API to get my user uh, profile information. So if you see, if I click on a profile and it shows me my email id phone number and extra okay and let me do the sign out. So uh, what we have to do is so basically, Microsoft provide uh, a couple of libraries like I will be using Amcel. Amcel is the library which provides a way uh, to authenticate uh, with any of these external authentication provider or uh, uh, or uh, a, a, with your Azure AD accounts. This is very simple. You can just navigate to this page. I will provide the link as well in my video description you can just navigate to samples and here you can see a bunch of samples uh, i have i am interested in javascript uh, single page application so i'll be using this sample i can see a bunch of other uh, javascript samples as well but uh, if you see this one this is the like latest one or two point o authorization code flow with pixie but uh, this uh, unfortunately this doesn't support implicit grant flow and i want to specifically use implicit grant flow only so i will be that's the reason i'll be using the very first sample so this is a sample so you can go to code you can just do get clone or you can quickly download the zip which i have already downloaded and extracted here Cool. So uh, this is the uh, this is the content uh, of the zip after extraction. So this is the file HTML file. This is the page basically uh, which you see. Uh, this is the page which you see. This let me show you. Yep. This is the HTML of the page index.html and uh, here i see the sign in button sign up button and uh, on click of sign in button it just call it javascript sign in button so i see that the uh, sign in button is in uh, uh, sign in button implementation is in two files uh, auth pop-up here i can see the javascript sign in method and in auth redirect also i see the sign in method okay so basically in the index.html it's in uh, including the auth pop-up.js so if you want to try out the auth redirect you have to use include this script and you have to comment out this script the difference between both is auth pop-up is basically when you click on sign in button you get the login pop-up where it asks for the credential right but in uh, whereas in auth redirection you won't get pop-up and it will uh, directly redirect you on login microsoft online.com for authentication and if user is already logged in and uh, but, but this thing is in uh, both of these methods silent login so basically if you are already logged in it will pick the uh, 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 token which uh, if that's not expired and uh, will allow login okay so here uh, we are using the auth pop-up method for authentication let's quickly jump to that so very, very first step it's creating the user agent application object and it's passing config object and the configuration details are in this file so here you see that client id authority url and redirect url what is this client id so this this is the client id of azure ad application which i have registered on azure portal let me quickly show you that so this is application you can register you can go to portal.azure.com click on new register new application and uh, here you can choose multi-tenant single tenant whatever as per your requirement click on the register this will just take few milliseconds and uh, after registration you will be redirected on this uh, overview page 
so here you will get the application uh, id or client id so you can just copy that and uh, use that in code as it is and authority url i am using this login at microsoftonline.com and redirect url is the redirect url of the application where uh, your uh, uh, access token will be sent after authentication so this this url you should be uh, you should add in the uh, authentication redirect url so this is this is a URL I have added here. So if there is a URL mismatch, then it won't work. So this you should be very careful on that. And there is a, one more parameter for to set the cache location. So here is the cache location. Uh, there are two options, session storage and uh, local storage. Session storage is uh, basically for that session only. And uh, local storage is uh, sh uh, uh, shared uh, between sites. So uh, you can use uh, as per your requirement. And uh, store auth stated cookie i'm using this so basically you can uh, if you have requirement to uh, if you have uh, any issues in ie 11 or h you can just set this flag to true and uh, here is a login uh, request uh, scopes which i'm setting i just need the scope user dot read profile or open id and token request i uh, want to read the emails that's uh, like uh, uh, you can ignore if uh, you don't have any such scenario yep so uh what next uh auth pop-up so you created a object and now uh on click uh, this is a sign in method which will be called on click of sign in button and it's again calling the login pop-up uh these are the inbuilt method of uh amcell library which you can just uh, invoke directly amcell dot login pop-up login uh, logout uh, read uh, or acquire token silent all these things are inbuilt so it's very simple just to invoke and uh, done so it's uh, call, uh, uh, calling dot login pop-up and after this step you uh, this is a step which basically um uh, uh which uh, uh, using which you can just show that uh, pop-up box for user credentials and uh yep so once user is logged in you can just uh, call the get account api and uh, the endpoint of the api you can configure here in the graph config graph uh, so i'm using the graph api so i want to fetch my profile information i'm using this endpoint me and uh, me messages so if you have any other web api you can choose that endpoints and that's it that's pretty much it yep so these are the basic basic uh, inbuilt methods which you can just go through yep so uh so let's say you got the token user is authenticated and now you're calling the get account method after getting the account information you can just show welcome uh message so this is the method which basically uh so uh you uh, are like uh, after login in we can we are showing this uh, message right i'll quickly show you that so welcome sheetal chakra right this is the line which is doing that so these are all in and msile and you can just uh, directly call and uh, refresh that instead of writing your own code from start okay yeah that's all uh if you have any questions or anything just uh, drop me a uh, note up like uh do comment on the video i'll try to answer uh, the, your questions and if you like the video please give thumbs up and uh, also subscribe thank you so much